G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Helicontex Backpack Panel Insert. Now, I originally bought this for the Matilda backpack, but it does not fit that backpack. But I was lucky to have the Helicontex EDC backpack, which it does fit in. And it also, they say, is compatible with their bailout bag. Now, it says loop pa panel compatible with versatile insert system. And the versatile insert system is your Valco, and here you've got your molly webbing so you can attach any more pouches to it now the size is your normal pals molly webbing so you can organize it with your different size pouches weight is 210 grams dimensions 37.5 by 24 centimeters the material is just a nylon material and they say it is made in vietnam so very nice uh, the helicontex is it designed in poland made in vietnam good combination there good quality i think i've only ever seen one of their products which the design of it wasn't very good, but the use of it was just spot on it was, no problem. The same with this construction of it, really nice, all the stitching nice. Now as it says, it comes in coyote brown, and that's it, that's the only colour they say it came in. And now if we flip it over, we've got a mesh zippered pocket at the top. Nice and big one. Full width, just under halfway, is that halfway down? Yep, just under halfway down. The mesh pocket comes all the way down to here, around the top, above the zip, and back down. So when you put things in, it will go up under the zip too. So it's a nice fit, easy to get stuff in. Your zips are the YKK zippers. They've got the Dust guard on it, the protection to stop any dirt getting into your zip. Got plenty of room in that, plenty of expansion on it. The bottom is just a nylon pocket. Nice stitching all the way down and around. You can see where the uh, webbing stitchings come all the way through. There's, I don't know if it's a plastic panel, it feels like. That runs down in between, sandwiched by your molly and your hook and loop and your pockets here. Plenty big enough expandable pocket at the bottom so you can organise your pack. I think these are called the G hooks, which is what connects them to the pack, which I'll be showing you shortly. We've just got a nice small handle on top if you want to carry it around, and they call it a minimalist carry handle that's it that's all it is so if you want to take out your pack and carry your gear into your house or to the car or to your tent or your shelter you can do it all in one easy go so now what i'll do is i'll get the pack and i'll show you how to install it the pack i'm going to install it into is the helicontex edc backpack which i'm building up as my get home bag so this will be in my car and if anything happens, I can just grab this and make my way home. And now I've got everything I need in this. So it's going to go in the back here, the main compartment of this pack. Let's undo the compression strap too. And I'll drop that down. And in the pack, so we can fold this back at the sector at the same time as it hanging up. There it goes, made it. We've got the loops at the top to connect the G hooks into. I 
Now the G hooks both point into the, the center. So we're gonna to have to hook one on first. That went in nice and easy. And now making sure that G hook point is actually down so it stops it slipping out. We push this side in and over and that's that fitted, nice and easy. No problem at all doing that. Now, I'm in two minds whether to have the hook and loop on the front or the pockets on the front. Uh, what I might do is actually swap it around because I want to move my EDC insert pouch and put it on this on the main section. So again, if you wanted to swap it around, we just undo the G hooks, flip the panel around and do the same again. And that's it, that's sitting in there nice and easy. <coughs> Excuse me. Your hydration bladder will fit behind here because the actual loops holding the G-hooks are quite long, which gives you, hold on, let's turn it around, a couple of three inches spacing in between. So if I wanted to, I could still use that back pocket here to put some smaller stuff in or bigger stuff or it depends how much I want to put on this side. So now what I'm going to do is take the EDC insert out of this one and swap it onto here. So there's my EDC insert pouch. What do you think? Shall I lift it up a little bit more and give you easier access below? Yep, okay, here we go. So that's giving me more room. And if I wanted to, I could still put smaller pouches on there or put things in the pockets behind because I've got the pouches on the outside to put my one litre containers in to carry my water. That's still there in case I want to put my hydration bladder in. Let's show you the room and ease of access. And what we've got is the Swagman roll. So I'll just put that in there, we'll go across this time. That fits in there nice and easy, still with room to get to it or put other stuff in there. And because I'm hoping that with it being my get home bag, I'm hoping to only need to put a maximum of two nights gear in there, food wise, that sort of thing. So we've still got room in the front here. So now let's do the zippers back up. Let's pull this back over so we can do that. So there's a panel, plenty of space in there. <coughs> Zip it back up. The zipper is slightly difficult because the way it's hanging on the handle here. There's that one, there it is. So the panel itself has taken up very little space in there. It's the actual pouch you're going to be attaching to it will take, take the space up. But as you can see on the side of this, I have still got plenty of room for expansion. The same here. The pack will just expand nice. So that's the Helicon Tex backpack panel insert. So now let's take a quick look of what I've added to the pack. I've got the Helicon Tex water canteen pouches, one on either side. They'll hold up to a one litre bottles in them or canteens. But the actual space of them, they say are two liters. I have the mini med kits. The main pack is the Helicon Tex EDC. And I've got the, let this open again. I should have left this open. I've got the large version of the Helicon Tex insert pouch. And now we've got the Helicon Tex backpack panel, which we've just installed. So it's coming together really nice. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you're not already a subscriber 
please go below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to that and select all click the thumbs up button like button and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care Thank you.